My name is Danny Collins, I'm 19 years old. I play for Farfish Stuttgart. I'm English, half Italian, looking to make my way as a professional footballer. We're currently at the training ground. This is where I come on a daily basis. So this is the entrance to the training centre. And along the wall we have all the players that have come through Stuttgart. So at the start here we have Sami Kadira. You can see all the titles he's won there. He's got quite a CV. <laughs> it would be great if one day I could emulate what he's achieved. This is my current coach from the second team. Andrea Single, and that's great because obviously he knows what it takes to go from the youth system all the way up through the first team. It's great to have him as our coach and as our mentor. And the steps for me to becoming a professional footballer would be firstly to have some good appearances with the second team, make an impact there, and hopefully from that you can own yourself. Training sessions with the first team, you really have to grasp it with two hands and say, right, this is my chance to prove myself, to show that I'm capable of playing on this level. It's just all about taking those chances and progressing with each little step. This is our change room, come through. This is my spot, number 14. Here, all our clothes will get freshly laid out for us before every training session. We have a little cabinet to keep our personal belongings. As you can see, everyone has their boots and their running shoes, etc., underneath their spots. So everything's really taken care of. Here we also have a few ice baths. After training, the players can recover well. It's not something to enjoy. However, you definitely feel good afterwards, but it's just those 10 minutes when you're in there can be quite cold, very cold. <laughs> but I'm used to it, being from England and everything. When I started playing football, it was your coach, and then you had your parents, and that was about it. And so it's a bit crazy to think of how many people are there for you. We have the head coach, we have the assistant coach, we have goalkeeper coach. We have two kit men, someone on the logistic team. We have the physio department. We have also a rehabilitation center. It is a bit of a luxury, something that, yeah, always be grateful for. I wouldn't say there's a master plan. I would just say there's an end goal which is to play professional football in a major league, whether that be in Germany, Italy, Spain. The end goal would be to go back to England and to play football in the Premier League. We do have a plan in terms of the steps that it's going to take to get me there, but we know it's a road that has to be very flexible because in football everything's not so straightforward. The game is always changing, the game is changing as we speak. I think football has become a lot more tactical, a lot more technical, and so football will be looking very different in 10 years' time, and that's something I have to prepare myself for. My versatility, hopefully, will stand me in good stead. So now we're entering the Mercedes-Benz Arena in the Stadium of Stuttgart. Normally I wouldn't have this key, but today I had the luxury of showing you guys around. Unfortunately, I haven't had the luxury of playing here yet, but one day, I'm sure, my time will come where I make my first appearance. If I do play here one day, I'll be nervous. There's a lot more pressure. Everything is then taken care for, and so really, you have no excuses not to perform. But I'll know that it's the right time, and I've done enough preparation so that I'm ready to take and seize that moment. <laughs> I'll leave the manager's chair for him. Oh. There will always be a plan B, and that's something I've been told when I was very young, that your football career is one, very short, and two, can end very quickly. Having that plan B with school, etc., has always been there. To be honest, I can't see myself outside of the football world. I think even after my career as a footballer is over, coaching could definitely be something that I get into, but also there's the opportunity to become a personal trainer and approach that side of the game. And so my life will be very centred around football. I don't think it will stray too far. They're comfortable, but like, yeah, I don't want to get too comfortable sitting here. I want to be out there playing. 